Fungal diseases like powdery mildew and black spot can devastate your garden overnight. Many gardeners turn to harsh chemicals, but there's a safer, simpler solution already in your kitchen baking soda. This common pantry staple is a gentle, effective way to fight plant fungus without harming pollinators or your soil. Baking soda changes the environment on your plant's leaves, making it tough for fungus to survive. It's affordable, easy to use, and lets you take control of plant health naturally. Let's see how you can turn baking soda into your garden's secret weapon. By the end, you'll know exactly how to protect your plants and keep your garden thriving. Fungi thrive in slightly acidic conditions, but baking soda is alkaline. When sprayed on leaves, it raises the pH, creating a hostile environment for fungal spores. This stops new spores from germinating and can even dry out mild infections already present. It's most effective as a preventative, apply at the first sign of trouble or during humid weather. Remember, baking soda only works where it touches, so thorough coverage is key. It's safe because it doesn't get absorbed by the plant or linger in your food. Think of it as a protective shield for your plants. Understanding this simple science helps you use baking soda confidently and effectively. Making your own antifungal spray is easy and budget-friendly. Mix 1 tablespoon baking soda, 1 half teaspoon mild liquid soap, and 1 tablespoon horticultural or vegetable oil into 1 gallon of water. The baking soda fights fungus, the soap helps the spray stick, and the oil suffocates spores and some pests. Use pure, gentle soap. Avoid anything with degreasers or bleach. Combine all ingredients in a clean sprayer and shake well. This simple recipe has helped gardeners for generations. Now let's talk about how to use it for best results. Use a clean sprayer to apply your solution evenly to all plant surfaces, tops and undersides of leaves, stems, and petioles. Spray on a calm, overcast morning to avoid leaf burn and ensure good coverage. Avoid windy or hot sunny days, which can reduce effectiveness or harm plants. Be thorough. Fungal spores hide in shaded lower leaves. For prevention, spray every one two weeks during humid weather. Treat active infections every five seven days until controlled. Reapply after rain and shake your sprayer often to keep the mixture blended. Consistent careful application is the key to success. The best defense is a healthy garden that resists disease naturally. Space plants properly to boost airflow and keep leaves dry. Prune dense growth to improve circulation, especially in tomatoes and roses. Water at the base, not overhead, to avoid splashing soil onto leaves. Use drip irrigation or water early in the morning so leaves dry quickly. Build rich organic soil with compost to strengthen roots and plant immunity. Healthy plants are less likely to get sick, making baking soda spray a backup, not a crutch. With these habits, your garden will thrive naturally and beautifully.